lot about opera. I mean, I know what a soap opera is and what a space opera is, and I've heard a Phantom of the Opera, so what the heck is opera? Opera is life. Inspiring. Fancy. Transcendent. Loud. But beautiful. Grand. A lot. <laughs> wow, sounds kind of weird and also kind of wonderful. So, okay, how did this whole thing start? You know, where did opera come from and why and who? To find out, I thought I'd check in with the authority, my friends at the Washington National Opera, because I need answers. Well, as far as we know, opera, which is just the combination of music and theater to tell a story, has been around for as long as we have been around. The form of opera that we know today is about 400 years old. It began in Italy during something called the Renaissance, when these people were trying to figure out, well, what did the ancient Greek plays sound like? What if they were actually sung? And so these stories, which were about gods and kings and myths, were set to music. I love opera. It's something about the combination, the drama of theater, the emotional power of music, the glory of stage design, and the beauty of dance. Operas today are happening all around the world, all the time. There are the classic old ones, new ones being written nowadays. Operas for everyone, even operas for kids. Opera was created for all people. Okay, so opera has been around for a long time, and all kinds of people really like it. What kind of operas are there? There are things that are called opera comica, which means funny operas. There is opera seria, which in Italian means serious operas. There is grand opera, which means huge, like parades and floats and many characters and extras and just huge scenery. But there's also very intimate opera, stories that we can tell very simply in small places with a small number of performers and orchestra members. But the main thing is that opera can convey huge, huge things, as well as very, very intimate, all through this incredible art form. The amazing thing about opera is that it is words and music together. And music somehow lifts things up. It allows us to tell stories about our emotions, whether we are happy, sad, crying, depressed, excited, thrilled, ecstatic, and somehow it's like music amplifies things. It takes an emotion and it explodes it. And it tells these stories and these emotions with people who we know. They can be barbers, they can be aristocracy, they can be people just like us. But the main thing is that opera allows a character to tell all their story through strong emotions in song and music. We use projections, video, all the things that you may watch on your screen at home, we now bring to the theater. So you're having a live experience as well as an incredible media experience. We bring the movies and media and music together. Operas are all really different, but one thing they all have is setting, and usually really wild things happen in that setting. You can see everything from dragons to spaceships and witches and whales. Operas seem really big. Are operas only in big theaters? Uh, believe me, an opera can happen anywhere. It can happen in a grand opera house. It can happen on the back of a flatbed truck. Uh, it can happen in a park in your neighborhood. Uh, some of this opera music I've been hearing sounds really familiar. Where else have I heard it? You hear the music in movies, in commercials, in cartoons, everywhere. <laughs> You've heard it in the higher register, but right, that sounds familiar. <laughs> right, the music is everywhere. I didn't realize I've been hearing those melodies forever. Maybe I've even heard the lyrics? You've heard the lyrics, you've just heard them in different languages. Lots of operas are written in many languages other than English. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know any foreign languages, and not everyone knows English. <laughs> How are we supposed to know what's going on? 
I write my operas in English, but even if you don't speak English, you can understand them because operas use surtitles. Um, maybe above the stage, maybe below, maybe right in the seat in front of you. As the performers are singing or speaking, the words that they're singing appear right there. So they're accessible to anybody. Well, now I know that opera has been around forever, it can happen anywhere, and has lots of music and dancing and sets and costumes. It's in many languages, even English, and it's basically for everyone. Hey, I'm an everyone. I guess opera is for me, and you too. Okay, now I wanna know more. <laughs>